Hi, in this example, we are going to use the wire parameters uh, function again in 3ds Max, but this time we are going to wire uh, some parameters that are actually quite practical to use. Let's get right into it. We have um, Max open here, and in this case, I'm only using my top view. So I'm going to switch into my top view, use Alt W to make it, to maximize it. And I'm also using the keyboard shortcut G as in grid to get rid of my background grid. Um, I tried to download several gear wheels or gears from the internet, but all of them had the problem that they had all kinds of uh, coordinates and axes are weird weirdly modeled. So in this case, I'm going to start with a simple shape directly out of 3ds Max. So the shape, and I'm going to use the star shape. And the star shape, of course, looks like this and has, first of all, nothing to do with a wheel of a gearbox. But let's get it to uh, certain parameters here. I'm going to start with um, a gear the first wheel of auto radius 60 and uh, 50 and the amount of points i don't know yet let's try 30 and if we look at those uh, stars now we have 30 uh, teeth on our wheel we're gonna round it up here's the radius let's try a four and four maybe uh yeah that's good Maybe a couple more, um, a couple more points. Let's try 40 or 35. Okay, so here it is, 35, um, um, 35 teeth on my wheel. Of course, I want to have a 3D object, so also I'm going to add an extrude modifier from the on the modifier from the list. I'm going to add extrude and a height of 10, and that gives us a very simple. A very simple uh, wheel here. So the first thing is uh, we are going to make again I'm looking from the top we're gonna make a copy of my wheel by shift and moving it away and the first wheel is very simple so we're gonna start here with wheel one and here is my wheel two make sure it you already move it so it could mechanically work because later on they will start to rotate at the same time and then they start in a perfect uh, condition. So here's the first wheel that is simple because the speed of the wheels is staying the same. But now I'm going to make another copy. And this time uh, I'm going to change the size of my wheel. So I have it selected. I go to modify and in the modifier stack, I go back to star and I change the parameters. So uh, it's a 60 radius. Let's go to 40 and 30. Of course, a wheel as small as this cannot have the same amount of points. So we got 35 on the large. Let's do a 20. Try if it works. 20. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, 25. Yeah, that could work. Huh? Maybe a little bit less. 22. 22 looks uh, perfect. So um, I did not, uh, I, I'm not going to remember what the radius is of the, of the object, but I have uh, on the first one, I had 35 points. And on the second one, I have uh, 35 to 22. Remember that. Okay, let's do one more. Um, make it another copy. And the other copy, I'm going to make even smaller. Let's make it uh, 20 by 10. Uh, and points, I have no idea again, 12. Ten. Yeah, that could work. So 10 teeth here. Uh, 12, uh, 22 and 35, 10, 22, 35. That is important because the speed will also change uh, later on. Uh, we could make it uh, more complex. Uh, should we? Let's do it. Let's do something else. 
Um, let's make it, yes. Let's make it more complex. So the thing is, I'm going to take this wheel here and I'm going to align it with the other one. Uh, here's the align tool. Align and this one will be aligned to this one. Position X, Y, Z is the same. Both pivot point will be aligned. Okay. And now uh, I'm going to move it up 10 units. So I'm going to do a right click on the move and I'm going to lift it up 10 because now it's uh, uh, glued together. What I'm trying to do is also take this one and move it up 10 units um, because I'm going to do the following. Here it is, top view. I'm going to do this. So, so here it is. I got the two wheels of the same speed, then those, those two wheels will be, uh, will be like glued together. We're going to use a, uh, we're going to use a simple linking for that. And then we use, use another wire parameter from here to here. Let's see if that works. I never, never did it before. So uh, first is those two uh, uh, wheels on top of each other. They need to be linked. I'm going to do it from the it doesn't matter which direction from the bottom or let's do from the top that looks like the child then i use select and link up here the chain click and hold and hold drag it down to onto the parent and drop it okay so now when i select the bottom one for example um, it will and i rotate it the top one will follow they have exactly the same angle so i don't have to take care of this connection between those two only have to make sure that whenever i rotate my start wheel that the movement will be transferred over to the second wheel so and that is done with wire parameters so i select the first one right click uh, wire parameters and what i'm going to wire is transform rotation C rotation and I'm going to wire it to which other object to this one click transform rotation C rotation that opens the wire parameter uh, dialog and so we want to make sure I'm going to only going to do it in one direction because I noticed when I have a gearbox and I do it in both directions and I link both ways then after three or four wheels, Max sometimes crashes when, it, when there is a loop and it uh, just not doesn't take it. So I'm just going to do it from one to two. So in this direction, one way. And if I hit connect, you will notice it starts to work. But uh, when I select and move it, you can notice that the, the movement will be wired over to the other object but it is the same direction and of course when it's a chain wheel like this uh, we have to inverse the direction so i'm going to set a minus here in the c rotation i hit a minus and now update and now when i rotate it they both work perfectly together okay now the next thing is now i would like to transfer from the rotation from the top wheel here onto the small one and this is important they have different sizes they have uh, 22 to i always forget it 10. so it's a, a the ratio of 22 to 10. Uh, so i'm going to select the top one right click wire parameters modif transform rotation y uh, sorry c rotation onto this one transform rotation C rotation and again only in one direction and of course I have to set it also to negative and hit connect I'll show you what happens if I select this one and uh, rotate it did I hit rotate rotation okay update uh, let's try that is funny it doesn't work when it's linked okay 
we can fix that later. See, uh, now it's a negative rotation, but the speed won't work because the small one, of course, is running much uh, faster than the large one. So uh, I have to speed it up by times. And to speed it up, it has to be a larger than one value. So actually uh, 22 wheels on one side and 10 on the other. So it is actually 22 divided by 10. So that is 2.2. Update. And now here, when I rotate it, you can see the speed matches. 2.2 times faster. Now the only problem is that my linking here doesn't work. So it doesn't work when I rotate this one. It kind of is not transferring the rotation over to this one. So I have to, um, I'm going to cut my linking, select the bottom uh, wheel and hit unlink selection. So now the linking doesn't work anymore. Oh, I said that. Sorry, I did it in the other direction. This one and unlink. So now I did it from the top down. So now it's unlinked. Now I'm going to take both of them, this one and this one, move them minus 10. And in top view, I'm going to arrange my gearbox slightly different. So let's do it this way. So, of course, now it does still not work because if I rotate my first one, the second one will follow. And if I rotate my third one, the small one will follow. Now I have to make sure to connect those two. Um, so wire the rotation here over to this one. Select uh, the ratio is 35 to 22. Select this one, wire parameters, transform rotation, C rotation onto this one, transform rotation, C rotation, uh, only one direction. It will be a negative rotation and it will be uh, again speeding up because it's from large to small wheel. That is um, times 35 divided by 22. I don't know how much that is, but if I hit connect, it should work. Let's try it. Select the first one, hit rotate. Ah, yes, it does work. See, rotate the, for the first one and it will transform the rotation. Okay, so here's a little summary uh, of what I just, I, I did this also for the first time. So first, um, make sure you only do it in one direction. So you cannot, and I cannot take the last one and rotate it, it will not work. So you have to make sure it's one direction, always uh, direct in one direction. Uh, if it's the same uh, size of wheel, all you need to do is make the movement negative, so it rotates in the opposite direction. And if it has a different size, you have to multiply it by the ratio of the teeth. If you don't have teeth, if those are wheels, for example, then you can also take the ratio of the radius or something. You have to play around a little bit with it, but I think it will be fine. It's just the ratio of the size of those two objects. Okay? Um, I hope that made a few things clearer, and we are also smarter because I have also found that out that in this case linking doesn't work so if you have objects linked together like we like we had those two wheels linked together that does not work together with the wire parameters okay thanks for um watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one